you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. It will take two or three minutes to pray. I want you to release your faith sincerely. God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power. Lift your voice in one minute everywhere. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, all the overflows. Go ahead and begin to pray. Indeed, it is my night. God is giving me a story. Shalika parakos soprande kebeleketash. Kepra teka pareka skota beleketa. Manta prakata beleketos katiba la sandabash. This disease, this infirmity is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus. Take a minute to release your faith. It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor and limited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray go ahead and pray my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on to the storm And I will hold on to your world My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Lifter of men Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. 
and then number three poverty do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped that is the truth there's a song that is in my spirit Yesu kaine haskena in the kami zambi Yesu kaine haskena in the kami zambi One more time Yesu kaine haskena the life of the world When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step a day, one step a moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no ma you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you're unemployed but there is absolutely nothing to write home about as i pray for the sick i'm going to pray for those people i want you to bring them out because the power of god is coming on those people and on those families i want to pray as soon as that song was raised that's what the lord began to minister to me in my heart and then i'll pray for the sick we'll take testimonies now ah there is a light that is coming here tonight in the name of jesus everyone paros kadibada please bring them out very quickly we have a lot to do tonight i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down goes up only to come down there is no longevity in impact i decree and declare right now be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment 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 my goodness fire is falling in this place be delivered this moment I'm still praying in the name of Jesus rising and going down by the spirit of the living God whether it's for you or for your loved ones I stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever between you and that spirit forever between you and that spirit forever between you and that spirit forever
between you and that spirit forever be separated now and separated forever in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing I'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases salika parako sade balende kebos chakras kade balasujash there's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head there is healing that god is bringing to you right now everything that is not of god lay your hands i want to pray for the sick now help that man shala seberes kota baranda gaberetu siata hallelujah lay your hands i want to pray listen as soon as i pray for you miracles are already happening the power of god will touch you right where you are i want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now right now for those as soon as i pray for you a miracle is happening check yourself the moment you find out you are healed make your way to the front in the name of jesus christ the first that i'm seeing in my vision here there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy spirit please play the strings for me in the name of jesus may the hand of god rest upon you now help them please may the hand of God rest upon you now every demonic headache masquerading as anything recurrent headache I decree and declare be healed now be healed now be healed now any eye condition total blindness partial blindness i stretch my hands right now by the power of the holy ghost begin to see now begin to see now there there are people who cannot move their legs i don't know if it's whatever pain in the name of jesus the power of god is resting upon you begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of jesus now hear me all kinds of pains are about to leave you will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely i stretch my hands pain goes now pain goes now help them please pain goes now pain goes now pain goes now back pain be healed now shoulder pain be healed now neck pain move your neck now be healed in the name of jesus there is someone being healed of goita goita in the name of jesus may the power of god rest upon you i bring you healing and i bring you life healing and life someone with a heart condition i cause that spirit right now and i release you be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus the lord is showing me someone you you are not able to sit down i don't know if it's pile or some boil or just just swelling in the name of jesus christ as i pray for you now you're going to feel the fire of god rest upon you and that devil will leave you now be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not I'm seeing someone kidney problem you are having kidney problems if I don't pray for that person I'm seeing that you would die in the name of Jesus whether you are here or connecting from any hospital may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from that kidney condition you could not bend every time you bend there is severe pain in the name of jesus i'm praying for you let that pain disappear now 
let that pain disappear now the Lord is showing me someone your toes you have a problem I don't know what problem it is your toes it looks like um, it's getting hard I don't know what the medical condition is but I know that it's affecting your toes the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus there is a lady and a gentleman two of them will shout now under the anointing the lord is healing someone connected to your family this is in the name of jesus i know everybody but there are two people the lord is revealing to me and i decree and declare whoever that person is let a visitation come for you come for your family members in the name of jesus there's someone, there are particular foods you cannot eat. When you eat them, you start throwing up and you will even be sick. God is revealing this to me. Now, I, I'm not a doctor. I will not advise you as against medical advice. But all I know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a woman's husband. This is your husband. I'm seeing a, a situation affecting his mobility. He's unable to move. He's beginning to affect his leg. It looks like arthritis. In the name that is above all names. Whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online. I dec Who is Rachel? Rachel, come. Your time has come. Oh, oh, oh. Your season has come. And the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft. This is what I'm seeing. I decree and declare, be delivered now. Now. By the spirit of the living God. May the hand of God, I stretch my hands. Every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. What he says to one, he says to all. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Livinus? I'm hearing the name Livinus. Is it Lavinus or Livinus? Somebody, Livinus. The Lord is bringing deliverance to that family. Livinus or Lavinus, whether you are here or following online, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing someone in this row. I just saw light. Someone in this row. The hand of God is coming on that person right now. There are two men of God. I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry and another one being opened. The fire of God is coming on you now. Two men of God. I don't know where you are, whether you are here or scattered around. Father, I pray that you locate these men and open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. In the name of Jesus, open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. By the power of the Holy Ghost multiplied visions this is what i'm hearing multiplied visions there are men that are coming into this realm where god is opening your eyes multiplied visions receive that grace right now multiplied visions accuracy in your perception in the name of jesus christ hallelujah is there someone here with the name godia i'm hearing the name godia that should be a, maybe most likely someone from the north Godia, please we have a lot to do make sure that Godia if, if they are outside of this place no problem let me just know I want to speak I heard that name Godia in the name of Jesus every manifestation of sp the spirit of death 
Is there someone with the name AGK? AGK. I believe that that most likely is an evil name. AGK, who is that? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. A season of reward. AGK, who is AGK? Okay, you, sir. You are entering your season of reward. You are entering your season of reward. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may my God visit you. May my God visit you. I'm still seeing another AGK that the Lord is revealing to me. AGK. That's the, is that his name? Verified. Is that your name, my friend? Huh? What's your name? What do you do? I'm a civil engineer. You're a civil engineer? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. There is somebody who does furnitures. I see the hand of God coming on you. You are about to explode. There is a supernatural grace that is coming on your business. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who do you do furnitures? Furnitures. Yes, sir. You make it or you sell it. I make furniture. You make furniture. Yes, Lift sir. your hands. Yes, sir. Something is about to shift in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a supernatural manifestation of grace. A supernatural manifestation of grace. The Lord is showing me someone. You are a lawyer, but you have never been employed. This is what I'm seeing. There is a spirit of shame. It's not just you, your family members. The Lord wants to change that. Who is that person? Don't tell lies. Make sure that you are, you are a child of God. You? Is she a lawyer? Practicing lawyer? Yes, sir. I'm in private practice. You've never, never been, been employed. Yes, sir. How long have you been practicing? 15 years. Yeah, yes, haskena. Madam, are you a lawyer? Hold on, hold the woman. Take it easy, madam. For 16 years, I've For how many years? For 16 years, I've not been employed. It's okay. It's, don't worry. You are the house of God. Just believe. I don't know you, madam. You, how many years? Brother, 20 years. Where are you from? I'm from Benway. Because Brother. there is a spirit. I need to pray for you. This thing has tied everybody in your family. And it kills the man in your family. I want to pray for you. Right. You see, evil is real. Oh. I'm praying for someone here. In the everything that is masquerading itself around your family. As I'm praying for these ones. May that grace rest upon you now. All of you in front here. Right now, be delivered now. I release you now. Every plague of witchcraft over your life, let it be broken now. Over your career, let it be broken now. 20 years. Look at this woman. No nothing. Now, you, you watch in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, these same people will return back here and they will tell you doors have just opened, just like that. That is what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. Hmm. Check your neck. There's someone, I don't know what was wrong with your neck, but I want you to check it now. A miracle has happened. I will soon ask those who, are, who have been healed to come out. But something just happened in my spirit. Mildred. I'm hearing a name. Mildred. Mildred. Who is Mildred? Mildred. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is. Mildred. Now, the Lord is showing me a very unique case to pray for a family. When people marry in that family, they must die. 
this is what I'm saying. When they marry, one of the spouse must die within the shortest time. It doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman. There is someone who belongs to that family. Where are you? Come. One of these families is a Southern Kaduna family. I want. Yes. Where are you from? Yes. I'm from Kaduna, sir. Southern Kaduna. Yes, sir. Stand here. I want to pray for you. Southern Kaduna, I'm seeing this family. There is witchcraft that sits on the destinies of people. And if one person ever rises, that person must die. Something must kill that person. And so you find out that all the great people, people who would have risen, is like something just brings them down. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. My assignment is to bring light and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Harako sete baleko siata. Shalibarandu zigebesh kupra haskabala katosia. Father, right from the foundation of this family, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Hallelujah. Now, I don't want you to come out. I will just mention the case because the Lord revealed it to me and I will pray for you. There is a family, the ladies in those families, there is a spirit of prostitution on that family. Almost all of them. Don't come out just for social reasons so you are not embarrassed. But I want to pray because I'm seeing five ladies and every one of them is practicing one kind of prostitution or the other. It's like the spirit insists that is the only way that you must eat. Either some man somewhere or something somewhere and they are sincere people but it's a spirit this thing i'm seeing by revelation that is started right from their mother i don't know where that family is represented but i cry unto the god of heaven the one who shows men mercy that yoke that they may not even understand that is responsible for this level of decadence in their family let it be broken now let it be broken now The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. There is a plague of sickness in your family. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. This is what the Lord is asking me. The, the Lord is asking me to pray and break that yoke. You are twins. Where are you? Come. You are a twin, sir. From where, sir? From where? I want to pray for you. The other twin is the twin here? No, he said. But I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something relating to your blood. I have to pray. Uh, this is like a blood condition yeah. that. Twin, so. Did you hear what I said? Are you a twin? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Where are you from? From Abia State. I need to pray for you. Leave her now. I command that spirit to go. As soon as this lady came, I just saw serpents like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this lady be delivered forever. Forever. I'm seeing the name of a family and I'm seeing the ground being opened and the names put in and covered. I don't know who did this, but this is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, any family here whose destiny has been trapped, listen, oh, I'm praying, whether you know it or not, right now fire is going to come upon that person. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Let the grave release your destiny. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you reveal to me that there are twins. What do you do, sir? Please don't be embarrassed. Yes. 
I'm a medical practitioner. You're a medical practitioner. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Father, I pray for these people here. Lord, you reveal to redeem. Please make sure you the ones coming out. Why are you coming out? Twins? Huh? He has blood condition. They are twins. He has blood Your children? Condition. Yes, sir. Who and who? Two of them. Two of them. This one has blood, blood condition. Co what was the condition? Bleeding disorder. It's called hemophilia. Bleeding disorder. He lost a finger because of it. He lost one finger. Yes. How old is he? He will five next oh month. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. Please believe. When God visits people, is for redemption. I stretch my hands right now. You have anointed us, O God, to be extensions of your power. Therefore, I decree and declare that everything that is happening to any twin here represented, right from the foundation till this day, I decree right now. I'm seeing fire resting on you people. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Let that fire rest upon you. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, even for the kids, I decree and declare, let this blood condition come to an end now. Let this condition come to an end now. Hallelujah. Ah. You are the only person alive in your family, among your siblings. They are all dead. Who is that person? The Lord just showed me a vision. I need to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed when God... I hope I'm not wasting your time. Where is the person? Please rush. Come. The only person alive? Where are you from? Are you from Anambra State? Where are you from? Huh? Anambra State. All your siblings have... Nine, eight of them died. Eight of them have died. Yes, you are the only one. Yes, sir. You see, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, until God trusts you with power and the grace to see, you may never know what people go through. How many of you were born? Nine of us. And how, you are the only one left. Eight have died. How many of you? Four. Four. And all of them are gone. Only you. Let me pray for you. I believe in Jesus. And I act as he reveals to me. How do you have nine people and eight people would die? How can that be the will of God? I hope as I'm praying for them, you are connecting too. Because that is the purpose of faith. Are we together? Lord Jesus, we stretch our hands as a family of faith. Ah! One of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. I just saw a vision and the Lord is telling me that if, if you were not prayed for, this would have been the same case with you before the end of the year. Because this is a spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want, I want to pray for you. You see, the truth is that curses are real. The power of God can set men free, but curses are real. Hallelujah. I just heard it's like two people were quarreling. And this is what I just heard in my spirit. Didn't see a vision, but I heard. And all I heard is it will not be well with you. This is what I heard. This is like a conversation between two women and somebody is standing and saying it will not be well with you. This was said to a family. Come and stand here. There is a family that somebody told you that. Who told you that? She's a colleague. No. This, anyway, I'll pray for you, but this is not what I'm talking about. But you don't have to be on you see, number one is fear God. Number two, treat people with respect. There are there's what we call self-inflicted causes. And it comes because people get angry and Madam, where are you coming from? You are an international visitor? Yes. From? California. From? California. California. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you too, my dear. 
the scourging tongues of men is what Job said will be delivered from. Let me pray for these our dear ones going through this demonic thing about death in the name of Jesus for every arrow of death that has been deposited in these lives and these families no matter how many of them have gone for your sake in the name of Jesus may God restore the name and the dignity of this family may God use you to restore the name and the dignity of these families in the name of Jesus Christ and every legal access that the spirit of death has over you and over this family we declare let the blood speak now let the blood speak now let the blood speak now in the name of Jesus let the blood speak now and for anyone who is a victim of the ill speakings of men that someone stood and opened their mouth whether is a curse causeless or a curse with a cause I declare let the blood speak for you now 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 there's someone you've been having pains at your right side or so i'm not a doctor but i'm hearing appendicitis i need to pray for you in i believe that's most times it's a surgical procedure that manages that that situation we have a number of doctors here in the name of jesus i'm going to pray once we pray you can you can we'll, we'll give a few minutes for the testimonies before i've not done the deliverance session proper i'm about to do it now no no devil will escape the word of god in the name of jesus christ my dear, where are you from? This fair lady looking at me. Wait. Don't be embarrassed there, eh? but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? That people just, people hate you, yes. people reject you, yes. people fight you, yes. and they give meaning to you, something that is not. Yes. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly, in the name of Jesus, that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I hear of that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. What's that restore song? Sing it for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore. a man i will not advise that you come out but i'm seeing the number 59 million you lost 59 million i don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why i raised that song for you because the lord is saying he wants to restore you and i'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost any one naira I don't care for no matter how long by the power that raised if you believe in the prophetic then i'm speaking to you between now and the next three months in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be supernatural restoration let there be supernatural restoration you will be surprised to see what god will do don't doubt i declare restoration First for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition, may my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now. I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith. So that what is happening to you 
you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them it is as for me and my house me and my house at the count of three I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way I decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so I minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout Jesus manifestation of evil around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you the Lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now. The power of God is coming upon such people. I'm seeing the number 11 in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whether within this auditorium, the balcony, anywhere across, in the name of Jesus, let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Hallelujah. Gift. Who is gift? I just had the name gift. G-I-F-T. Gift. Your name is gift? Gift. There is a door that is closed. And I'm seeing a hand trying to open that door. And the Lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny. Gift. This is what I'm hearing. Father, honor your word. Right now I stretch my hands over gift. Whether here or anyone. Whatever is responsible for this closed door. Let that door be opened now. 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 Self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be opened now in the name of Jesus. Let that door be opened now over gift, whether you or your family, in the name of Jesus. May the God of all grace swing those doors open now. Hallelujah. There are three people in the crowd, the congregation. The Lord is telling me that I should pray for you. 
you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number three i don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted inside of you in jesus name someone is by the pillar i'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone you are one of them the hand of god is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing in a vision the name un and the lord is saying someone is going to get a job un united nations now you will come and testify here i prophesy it in the name of jesus god who revealed it may he put it in your hands i say it again god who revealed it i'm seeing un the logo of un united nations may god no matter where you are may god use people to connect you to it in the name of jesus my dear look at me this lady release this family now in the name of jesus I decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of Jesus you are delivered now you are delivered forever in Jesus name 13 years no promotion one three 13 years you've not been promoted the lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the lord is saying i should speak to you i want to speak to you by the spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the spirit when a word is released are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted i want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this a lady this is not the person i'm seeing but i will still pray for you in the name of jesus 13 years no promotion father honor your word for this individual using this one in front as a point of contact i decree and declare that not only will you be promoted may god restore you may god restore you may god restore you in the name of jesus christ may god restore you i'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of jesus one of your loved one has tuberculosis and the lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis i'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out i'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of jesus anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis i declare be healed now now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith I want to pray here's what will happen as soon as I pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of God has touched I 
I will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is I don't have to call it I want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then I will share with you something and then begin to pray over um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but I want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately I'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now the Lord is bringing restoration now now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith I decree and I declare now let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in Jesus name I command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of Jesus as I pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah I don't know I'm not a medical doctor I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes I just saw a vision I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is right now the healing power of Jesus is touching you the healing power of Jesus is touching you in the name of Jesus there is someone you have something called um, a urinary infection you can go it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom this is I don't I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are in the name of Jesus now I am praying for you let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment let it leave you now in the name of Jesus there's someone when you go to ease yourself you are also stooling blood it looks like pile in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely in the name of jesus wherever you are i decree and declare the power of god is touching you this moment be healed in jesus name there's someone you have your the right part of your breast there's some growth you you started sensing that there's some lump or so growing i'm praying for you in jesus name this moment as i speak that satanic lump disappears from your body <laughs> hallelujah that's what we call muzzle pull so you have around your limb area here just a discomfort that affects you it happened to a gentleman and from that day you have not recovered you are able to walk but not without pain especially on your right side in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit is bringing you life and healing right now 
you were sleeping and you felt like they drew your hair it's like somebody pulled your hair and from that time you started losing your hair in Jesus name I'm praying for you the person I'm seeing is like you are wearing something like pink like baby pink this is what God is showing me in the name of Jesus be healed this moment let the power of God rest upon you now and then for some of you you have sicknesses that has not been diagnosed medically but you know you are not all right you just know you can go they check through the machines and you are fine as much as the doctors tell you but you know that it's like you are dying slowly wherever you are in the name that is above all names i'm declaring to you right now be healed supernatural healing in jesus name you slept on one side of the bed and you woke up with pain severe pain around your neck just right here and from that time you have done all you know to do and that pain remains as i'm praying for you right now that satanic thing is giving way in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not let me have your attention in the name of jesus be healed now in the name of jesus be healed now inside outside be healed now i'm going to ask you to check yourself and as many of you some of you whilst you were under the anointing some of you now as i've spoken check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened whether online or offline we want to take a few testimonies very quickly don't sit back when there is a testimony there are people already coming in the name of jesus wherever you are a miracle has happened to you as we sing that song about light leave your seat and come right to the front let's celebrate them as they come Leave your seat. Check yourself right now. Come. Let's celebrate them as they come. Check yourself. us that by your stripes we have been healed therefore in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands every spirit of infirmity that is back of any disease any sickness I command you leave God's people now I command you leave God's people now I command you leave God's people now I decree and declare right now in the name of jesus there is someone god is healing you cough out blood you cough out and you find out that you are spitting blood in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you every blood condition here represented be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name hiv be healed in jesus name hepatitis be healed in jesus name leukemia be healed in jesus name i decree and declare anyone who has any spine problem i command the power of god touches you right now in jesus name bone conditions you could not work or you could not work well because of a problem with your bones the life and the power of jesus touches you right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone severe pain you have very very severe pain at the back of your neck very severe pain the power of god is touching you right now bringing you supernatural perfection in the name of jesus 
Every eye condition here be healed in Jesus name. Anybody who could not walk in the name of Jesus, I declare that strength comes to your limbs to begin to walk now. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Any part of your body you could not move, I declare begin to move it now. Liberty of expression comes for you, begin to move it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you had a dream and it's like they poured something on your head. From that time, you are not particularly sick, but there is movement, physical movement. You keep feeling physical movement like an object is moving around your head. I decree and declare right now, let that demonic occurrence come to an end. And for everyone you are standing for, I'm seeing several of you lifting your phones, lifting photos. In the name of Jesus right here, I'm praying that the power of God will touch those people wherever they are. For those who are connecting from any hospital, in the name of Jesus, I speak to those people. Supernatural healing and recovery happens for you now. Healing and recovery happens for you now. There's someone you came here feeling you literally could feel like a big mast around your stomach area. The moment I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will find out that that demonic thing is gone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's someone the Lord is showing me, if I don't pray for you, you're going to lose a lot of your teeth. You have a situation, I don't know what it's called, maybe a cavity problem that is, is making maybe some kind of bacterial or fungal problem that is making your teeth to be weak and almost to, to, to rot or something like that. It's, it's produced intense odor from you and you've gone to the hospital from what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power of God touch you right now. May the power of God touch you right now. The Lord is asking me to pray for a little boy. He's not a baby, but he's a little boy. The boy acts like someone who is autistic, hyperactivity. I mean, he can be very hyperactive, like the strength of many people. I declare calmness comes for that boy right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any lump and any growth in any part of your body. In the name of Jesus, I command those growths to disappear. And hear me, I don't know, but I'm hearing colon cancer, colon cancer. In the name of Jesus, if there is anybody, whether here or connecting across the world, whether you are aware of it or not, in the name of Jesus, we cause those cells, they die from your body. They die from your body. I'm seeing someone, you are unable to move your fingers. You are unable to move your fingers without pain. But in the name of Jesus, after this prayer, you will be able to move your fingers with no pain. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I'm seeing someone's... A grandmother, the spirit of death wants to take that woman. I'm seeing sickness, a grandmother... With what I'm seeing, if we don't pray, that person may not survive up to a month. A grandmother, Father, by your mercy, wherever that woman is, I declare life and healing for her right now. Life and healing for her right now. Life and healing for her right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm praying for the sick. You don't have to come out. I want to speak. Um, this is a woman. You get pregnant. But you are never able to pass three months. And it looks like you have to lose that pregnancy. No matter what happens. You have to lose that pregnancy. In the name of Jesus I am praying. I don't know where that woman is. Maybe your sister. Your wife. Your auntie. Anyone connecting. In the name that is above all names. That plague of losing pregnancy comes to an end may the next pregnancy be the one that will lead to your children in the mighty name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed be healed 
and I did not speak about people with madness, any kind of madness. You see this mental health demonic thing again. I command let your sanity be restored now. You are released this moment. The Lord is asking me to break covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement that binds people and binds territories and binds families when it has to do with dominion over covenants that is the ministry of the blood the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel can I pray for you in the name of Jesus any family here and any individual who is under covenants of ancestry covenants that lead to poverty covenants that bind people at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus that fire will come upon you and that covenant must be broken are you ready one two three shout jesus be free by the blood of jesus help them please be free my god be free be free be free be free from every covenant every ordinance every covenant I say it again be free covenants are powerful they can tie men and tie destinies please bring them out demonic covenants holding people down Listen, whether you come from the north, I'm still praying. Whether you come from the south, can I tell you, every territory has covenants. Regardless the territory, I'm prophesying to you right now. Every territory that is connected to the soil of where you come from, the Aparakos Ketebatasiata, that has tied down your life in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, let that covenant be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. I have taught you here. How do you know the presence of a covenant? The presence of a covenant is tested by the existence of patterns. The existence of patterns. It is happening to your brother. It is happening to your sister. It is happening to your father. The moment you see a repetition of patterns, I'm praying for someone again. Everything you have seen, maybe with your father, your mother, it is now happening to you. Lack of progress, lack of jobs, barrenness, unfruitfulness. I declare, let it break now. 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 Every covenant that is not of God. I like you to shout this after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Every covenant. Tying my life. Tying my family. By the blood. It is broken now. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh it is broken. Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus, broken by the blood of the eternal covenant. Every negative covenant, covenants of disfavor, covenants of unfruitfulness, covenants of retrogression, it is broken. Someone pray, open your mouth and pray in one minute. of ancestry demonic manifestations in dreams in Jesus name 
sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you moonlight by night. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times less bright. When Yahweh finds up the wounds of this world, He heals all the bruises inflicted by this world. For someone, God is speaking to you, stop crying. Put on your armory of a warrior. You have cried too long. Your grandfather cried. Get back to children who join him crying. Your parents have cried. Will you continue crying and transfer tears to your children? Tonight is the night that you will get up and put on that regalia. There has to be someone who comes in the spirit of Gideon. In the spirit of Deborah. Someone who will get up and say, No, storms, you must come to an end. Is someone ready to pray for one minute? Before I begin to speak over your life all over this auditorium scattered outside and the thousands following online lift your voice in one minute and begin to speak in the name of Jesus Christ every storm around my life every storm around my finances hear ye the word of the Lord you come to an end tonight are there people of prayer in this place go ahead and pray Storms are made up of winds and water, winds and water. There is a spirit component, there is a physical expression. When the spirit component is dealt with, every other thing will fall into place. Jesus did not have to drive the sea away. He did not have to drive the water away. He rebuked the wind. And spoke to the sea, Shalom, be still, Shalom, be still. Take a minute to pray. Be angry in your spirit as you pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, you are in my boat, but arise, thou shall arise. You are seated, but thou shall arise. Someone is praying, thou shall arise, thou shall arise. He said, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise. Let God arise. Over your family, let God arise. Over your finances, let God arise. Over your health. Let God arise. Hallelujah. 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 Please bring out every point of contact that you have. If you don't have anything, no problem. You just lift your hand. Whatever, not your prayer request, any point of contact, whether your documents, whatever it is, just lift it up. I want, we're going to pray. And I want you to watch the wonder working power of the God of heaven. I'm serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know, I am I serving know. the God of miracles, I know, yes I know, one more time, I am serving the God of miracles, I know. Listen, 
The Bible says in Acts chapter 19 that handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the bodies of Paul. That it was taken to people who were diseased and they were spirits. The handkerchiefs and the, the points of contact could not speak, but something was placed upon them. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. What you are doing is not just some, some, this is a proper biblically supported prophetic act. And I want you to believe in what you are doing because you will return with testimonies that will marvel you. And for those who are watching from across the globe, following from your home, any and every viewing center across the globe, I want you to connect. You don't have a point of contact, that's all right. You can lift your hands. Your hand represents your productivity. I want to pray for you. I just felt stirred in my spirit to deal with this because there are many people here. Some of you are lifting photos of people. Some of you are lifting, I see people lift all kinds of things, your profession, your, your, your lawyer, and all kinds of things, medical people. People, certificates and all of those things let me pray to the God who answers mm. he says unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the same way you are lifting this that is the same way I lift you to a higher level the same way you are lifting this point of contact I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I shift you to a higher level a higher level in your career a higher level in business a higher level in your social experience in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the wind is blowing in this room, yet it did not blow what you are lifting to calm down. Therefore, I declare, nothing brings you down from today. Nothing brings you down from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Upon all your points of contact, right from this altar, let an unction from heaven, let an anointing, the grace for favor, the grace for speed, the grace for visibility, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Hallelujah. For someone, as you lifted this, you lifted it for your helper to see you in the spirit. You li I say it again. You only lifted it for your helper to see you in the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I clear away every storm that is stopping your helpers from seeing you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? When there is a very clear sky in the night, you stand and you can see the stars unhindered. But when the cloud midwives your vision, you only look up and you can see a dark hazy night. And yet beyond that dark hazy night, there are beautiful stars that are shining. But you are not able to see them because the clouds have come to cover your visibility. Are we together? I want to pray for you. I don't know what cloud has come in between you and all those who must see you. If you don't believe it, you can put down your hand. But I'm praying for someone who believes in the power of prophetic repositioning. That you can be repositioned by prophecy so that those who need you can see you. I compel them again to see you. I compel them again to see you. I compel them again to see you. When you turn to the north, they will see you. When you turn to the south, they will see you. When you turn to the east, they will see you. When you turn to the west, they will see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a padlock. I'm seeing a padlock and a padlock seals 
it can be good if it is preserving but it can be dangerous if it is stopping i don't know seeing this god is showing me that means that there might be someone your destiny you might be lifting this but in the realm of the spirit either by some demonic manipulation there are things that have been locked I, in the name of jesus i call upon he that has the key of david Everything locked be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Please be sensitive, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, I pray it again. As you are standing here, for some of you, what God is opening is not your own. It's for your loved ones. They are, they are far somewhere. But you know their life has been locked by the mercy of God. Right from this place, may their destinies open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. You will be amazed at the things that will happen from tonight's miracle service. In the name of Jesus. Please drop, if you can, just drop your points of contact. Drop it on the floor and then you pray in one minute. Not on your seat. Just obey instructions. Just drop it on the ground there. It's nothing. Just drop it on the ground. And I want you to lift your voice and begin to pray in one minute. That in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Listen. Let me explain to you what you are doing. So you don't just think you are acting foolishly. The earth I have taught you is one of the five elements of the supernatural. The earth is a universal point of contact. The same way you are matching the ground your helper is also matching the ground somewhere and you are not placing it on the ground just as some kind of dull ritual you are doing this with understanding that in the name of jesus by the power that raised christ from the dead as you have placed it on this ground in the name of jesus as a point of contact let it start calling all those who need to show up in your life let it start calling all those who need to show up in your life listen I stand by God to tell you, you will be afraid of the kinds of testimonies that will be shared here by reason of this. Listen, for some of you, as you have placed this on the ground, there is somebody who is waking up for your sake. And they don't even know what is waking them up. For someone, issues are being revisited in the spirit. Issues are being revisited in the spirit. Issues are being revisited in the spirit. Hear me? For some of you, what you dropped on the ground is paper, but you are picking your land. What you dropped on the ground is paper, but you are picking your house. I'm not motivating you. What you dropped on the land is paper, but you are picking your children. You are picking your job. You are picking your increase. In the name of Jesus. Now watch this. The last explanation as to what you are doing. When Moses brought his rod, watch this. The Lord did not tell him lift it up. He said cast it on the ground. That holy ground. When Moses placed it on the ground, a number of spiritual activities happened. He said pick it back up. When he picked it, it no longer was called the rod of Moses. It became the rod of God. That which you have dropped on the ground. In the name of Jesus. By dropping it on the ground, you have handed over the case to this warrior called El Shaddai. Oh, it is no longer your battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the multi-breasted one arise for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. what you have dropped now 
and begin to give thanks by faith lord i receive by faith lord i receive by faith i receive by faith i receive by faith i receive by faith strange testimonies by faith mighty manifestations by faith higher levels in the spirit by faith in the name of jesus christ now please drop it down i'm going to collect your prayer request but the lord is leading me carry your prayer request the same way you took this you can drop this pick up your prayer request except if it's the same thing you dropped still pick it up i want you, you are going to hold it i will pray on it before you hand it over to the ushers we're organized people but we're people of the spirit when the holy spirit decides to move bring two people for me who will run now there is a reason why i always ask that that happens and some of you i'm sure you are amazed why do people just start running up and down um it doesn't have to happen these things are signs and wonders they carry deep spiritual connotations two people the hand of god in in this auditorium now and they will just start running please help them whether you're an usher or not and i want you to bring them out this is a spirit this is this is a ministry by the spirit hallelujah bring them out for me I'm about to pray over your request. Hear what I'm hearing in my spirit. Before August 25th. Before August 25th. I don't know what this means. Listen. This is what I just had before August 25th. Can I speak it over your life? I don't know what it is you are trusting God for. For some of you, you have prayed, you have even sown seeds. But I'm saying it as one sent by God. As I have heard from God before August 25th, let there be a strange manifestation. Before August 25th, let there be a strange manifestation of the hand of God, the favor of God, the grace of God, extraordinary increase, strange doors open for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, they come out like this sometimes as a prophetic message that God is speaking to someone. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has kept you behind, but in the name that is above all names, the same kind of grace that came on these people to bring them forward. Paros kali kaparande kaparatos yata, rakas shopra dekeperetos yata. I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. Some of you, listen. Going forward will mean jumping over mountains. Going forward will mean crossing seas. By all godly means, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. The Lord is asking me to declare mercy upon people who are owing financially. This is what I'm hearing. Please, I want you to believe this. The prophetic has always been the scriptural solution to any kind of financial predicament. There is a place of value, productivity, intelligence, relationships, but not without the prophetic. I decree and declare, I don't know what financial situation you might be in right now. Maybe carelessness, maybe mistakes. It does not matter in whatever form it came. This is the house of God. I decree and declare. Perhaps that was why God said before August 25th for someone, I decree and declare, I tie that prophetic word to this speaking. Before August 25th, come out of that situation. Please don't be tired. Give me a chance to speak into your life. Can I still speak over your finances? Don't reject financial blessings. 
don't allow ignorance make you reject it you will suffer it will cause you problems you cannot imagine we are not marketing carnality and lust and flesh if you are incapacitated financially it is one of the worst attacks that can happen to a man in his life i pray for you the bible says i'm by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt you heard the testimonies of the people here and by a prophet i will teach you principles that grant you wisdom and help you maximize that which the prophetic brings but as for this night my own is to release by the prophetic that grace programming a climate of favor compelling men to come speedily to come with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh in the name of jesus i call helpers to your life strategic financial relationships in the name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus. Whilst you are standing, please ushers quickly collect. Just you can pass the prayer request to the last person at the aisle. I'm going to be laying hands on it and then ushers will pick it. Um, maybe some persons help the ushers for those outside. Let's do it fast. God is granting us grace. Hallelujah. Now, everybody please pay attention. I want to rebuke a few spirits before I pray over this. I told you that every storm is made up of winds. You have been shouting amen, but now let me do the praying for you. I don't tolerate evil spirits. I don't tolerate unclean spirits. We are mandated to cast them anywhere we see them. And for as long as I am alive, let me tell you the truth. Everything that plagues God in your life, He must let you go this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to pray for you now. And ushers, thank you so much for all that you do. There is a reason why I ask people to come. We want to rebuke devils. And they shall cast out devils. Upon Mount Zion, the Bible declares that there shall be holiness. And the Bible says that um, the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Deliverance and holiness. L ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. For some of you, you may not know the kinds of spirits that stand as resistance, stopping you, stopping things from coming to you. The spirits that are raging, they are bringing all kinds of storms that nothing good seems to come to your life. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen uh, some kind of tornado or wind and water disaster? It can wipe away farms in a moment, wipe away houses in a moment, in a matter of minutes, people will lose billions of dollars worth of life and property. That's what storms can do. The Bible says in Isaiah 32 and verse 15, that until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, it says that the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Hallelujah. So I'm going to speak over your life. And for many of you, you will be surprised that these strange demonic devilish spirits begin to manifest because they have been masquerading around your finances, around your health. Hallelujah. I may not even need to pray healing for some of you because by this prayer, you find out that a miracle happens now all i want you to do please just follow instructions and follow me my job is to help you receive you are going to shout at the count of three you are going to shout that name jesus why do we shout that name it's a prophetic act but number two it is also to stir up your faith a way of connecting your faith to what god is doing and the power of God will rest upon people every spirit that is not of God hiding behind your life your family this is the time it must let you go the spirit that makes as good as you are all that people see in your life is evil they run away from you you don't know why good people are leaving you are we together that beauty and glory must be restored this night are you ready now at the count of three once I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. And then for the ushers or all who can help them, just bring those under the anointing here as I begin to rebuke them. Father, you gave us authority over spirits. 
and you said to cast away unclean spirits that plague men, that plague destinies, the spirits that continue to raise storms in the lives of people. And tonight, oh God, I decree and declare, standing by your grace, even the apostolic and the prophetic, that as I speak over your people and as they shout, everything that has not been planted by my Father, that in the name of Jesus it must give way. I announce to every spirit that in the name of Jesus your time is up. You must let families go. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command that devil. Leave God's people now. Leave God's people now. Please bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus. Out of their destinies now. Release their destinies. Shake it, take us, get the butter. A black cost of Let them go. Please, whether you're an usher or not, help them come to the front. Let's do that very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ, be released now. Activities of witchcraft, wizardry, ancestry, in the mighty name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Please, if there's anyone under the anointing close to you, you don't have to wait for the ushers. Bring them out. Let's hurry up and save time. Once someone is under the anointing close to you, just pick them out gently and bring them in front here. There's a reason why we ask them to come. As many as the ushers are, they are very limited because they are doing so many things now. I'm still praying. Bring them out. Parus Kadiata. Every family here that has been tied by the covenant of ancestry that men do not rise whether you come from any of the six geopolitical regions in Nigeria or any place in Africa right now let the fire of the Holy Ghost visit the foundation of every family let the fire of Visit the foundations of every family and bring liberty in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. I have taught you here on the mystery of altars that an altar is a system of authorization that gives permission to spirits. Yokes that do not allow men rise in various families, educated but not productive. I decree and declare those altars are destroyed now. Destroyed now. Hear me. There are altars that must make women in many families cry. If they don't cry in marriage, they will cry either as mothers, if they are parakatos kiata. As I'm saying this, I just saw fire. I don't know which daughter of Abraham, help them now, which daughter of Abraham has been under this siege that the women in every family do not have the cause to rejoice. Be delivered now. Be delivered now! Be delivered now! Be delivered now! Be delivered now! Allah sada ka baraka toska pragada balaka tos. Shabranda ka braska ka baraka toska. Ekraka ka baraka toska siya. Generational patterns of sickness. I want to destroy it now. Generational patterns of sickness. Grandfather died of cancer. Mother died of cancer. Now the children are having it. Or diabetes. Every generational pattern. I stand by the God who called me. In the name of Jesus. And by the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant. Help them please. I break those patterns now. Patterns of sickness. Be broken now. Patterns of sickness be broken now. Untimely death. People never live the fullness of their days. Something must destroy them. Anyone here marked for death, 
that there is a sign of death upon your life i take it away from you now i take it away from you now and i speak to you the fullness of your days you will fulfill hallelujah that you hear that someone just left his house in peace and then a bike bike motorbike just come to destroy a great destiny and waste the destiny don't tell me it just happened can i pray two more prayers for you please look at me we call it many names in the body of christ others call it rise and fall others call it the absence of longevity of impact i don't care what you call it the spirit knows who i'm speaking about anything that makes lifting rising prosperity growth to be short-lived in your life that every time you see things they don't last that good things never stay in your hand in the name of jesus i cry unto the god of my covenant this night that yoke is broken 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 do you believe what you are receiving let me pray for you now please listen to this final prayer every time the devil cannot get you he will find someone who means a lot to you and attack them because attacking those close to you listen to what i'm saying attacking those close to you will eventually affect you in every way as though it was your own personal attack hallelujah so if the devil tries to throw the dart of sickness and because of your spiritual understanding prophetic covering and all these systems of advantage you escape from it by the time it hits respectfully speaking your mother or father or husband or wife or children or those who mean close to you there is a way that satan promotes generational poverty by handpicking all the destiny helpers and killing them is it not in your bible that when a deliverer was born every other that child died like that even jesus mass destruction is satan's activity the bible calls him a murderer right from beginning killing does not mean anything to the devil he can use men structure situations to kill good things john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy he says but i am come that ye may have life and have it more abundantly i want to cover all those connected to you and if you love them please open up your heart to receive this because the error of hearing bad news from people around you that troubles your faith and troubles your confidence we must stand in prayer believing that there is a god is as for me and my house not me alone me and my house i decree and declare over your life in the name of jesus the son of the living god as god has shielded and protected you i extend the same covering to your loved ones i extend the same covering to your loved ones i extend the same covering to your loved ones there shall be no loss there shall be no death the west star will not come near your habitation in the name of jesus and i pray for everyone here who came here believing god for a healing miracle please listen i want to give one command you can always have the time to testify but i want to pray i don't know where you are but in one minute just place your hand where you are trusting god for a miracle you had the testimony of the gentleman don't go back and allow what you tolerate will grow what you tolerate and give excuses for will continually multiply are we together now when satan came and arranged for the killing of james the church kept quiet and the bible says they went further they proceeded further to apprehend peter but the church became angry in acts chapter 12 and verse 5 the bible says but prayer was made unto god of the church 
unto God for him. The church said, no, we will not allow this happen again. And there was an intervention. Ah, no. Every spirit that is not of God must leave this night. Apostle, how will I know the spirit has left? Because the storm will no longer be there. When Jesus rebuked the wind, then he spoke to the office situation, then he spoke to the marriage situation, then he spoke to the health situation and said, Shalom, be still, but not without rebuking the wind. Now let me pray over your body in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity roaming around any part of your body, failed or failing organs, malfunctioning organs, organs that have been cut out maybe by surgical procedures, deformed organs, blood conditions, hearing, seeing problems, mobility problems, growth problems, reproductory problems. It doesn't matter in what form and fashion it has come. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I bring the ministry of life now. I bring the ministry of life now. By the Spirit of the Living God, life into your body. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Let your blood be cleansed now in Jesus' name. Genotypes change for good now. Every communicable disease in your body, every disease that has come through the blood, HIV, and uh, any hepatitis it doesn't matter what name and what form i declare it leaves your body now in jesus name <laughs> failing kidneys failing heart failing liver failing organs all kinds of problems in the name of jesus i bring you the life and the power of jesus <laughs> be healed right now to the tiniest and even the silliest of all conditions if it was not so in the beginning let it be restored let it be restored there is a gentleman when you go to ease yourself you are easing out blood easing out blood in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you that satanic thing that gentleman is in this place the lord just showed me that person in the name of jesus you are healed now help him in the name of jesus christ there is someone your 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 lady your right breast you know is beginning to grow unusually that is a demonic case I don't want to mention anything that disturbs you but this is some kind of growth that we need to rebuke because with what I'm seeing it is it is cancer just looking for your body in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is the same way it entered your body let it live now the same way it came into your body let it live now there is a gentleman you are you are walking you walk well but you are you feel a lot of pains around your knee very severe pains around your knee that person the lord is healing you right now because i'm seeing that this thing is is, is like a symptom of arthritis the hand of the lord is upon you right now for sake of time those who are in front here every evil spirit foul devil that has followed them here by the blood of the eternal covenant i command these spirits out you go off you go never to return in the name of jesus christ and everything you have taken from them their families their loved ones let there be a restoration in the name of jesus christ I just heard in my spirit good news. I heard in my spirit good news. Let me prophesy good news. Good news. In the morning, good news. In the afternoon, good news. In the night, good news. One more time, in the morning, good news. 
in the afternoon good news in the night good news good news means no more tears good news means no more sorrow good news means the pain of yesterday has gone with yesterday in the name of jesus now wherever you are stretch your hands and begin to make faith declarations over these requests stretch your hands in one minute will you sing for me that song restore in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands everybody those following online you can stretch your hands by faith go ahead go ahead we have just one minute for this Jesus Christ as you have believed in the name that is above all names I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that by the power that raised Christ from the dead the answers to this miracle they will follow you wherever you go the answers to this request I command them to look for you and follow you they will look for you and follow you. They will look for you and follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus. All the human vessels that must be in partnership with the Holy Ghost. To make for answers to this request. In the name of Jesus Christ. We compel them by the power of the Holy Spirit. They partner with the Holy Ghost to make for your answers. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I wrote three scriptures here in the place of prayer that the Lord gave me. Let me speak over your life. Number one. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Let me just speak it over your life very quickly. Media help us. Job 5. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Hear me. Anybody who does not mean well for you. May their hands never come close to your destiny. Psalm 7, 15 and 16. These three scriptures came to me in the place of prayer. I was not even praying about them. They just came to my spirit. He made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made. Verse 16. His mischief shall return upon his head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pit. Please hear me. In this season, may the God of vengeance, may the God who is able to judge, may he bring judgment to the works of the wicked over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last scripture, Isaiah 54, 17. Popular scripture, but it came to my spirit in the place of prayer. Isaiah 54, 17. It says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. So everything is looking for prosperity, including the devil, including weapons. They want to prosper. 
and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn the bible says this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me i want to pray for you if any mouth must speak about you let it be for good one more time if any tongue must speak about you let it be for good every counsel of Ahitophel towards your helpers to manipulate them so that they do not treat you with favor in the name of Jesus we overturn this night by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ July is about to end the seventh month August begins as the eighth month eight is the number of new beginning and the Bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold I do a new thing may that new thing anointing rest upon you new things in your spiritual life new things financially new things in your career new things in life and destiny hear me the spirit of the old old things i drive it far from your life in the name of jesus christ if i speak favor over you are you still willing to receive until i see every one of us become a living epistle of the favor of god i will not stop speaking it over your life for some of you it will take a while speaking it for you to come to the consciousness of the all surpassing value of the favor of god in the life of a man but for as many whose hearts are open and truly ready to receive in jesus name one more time even this night receive favor favor with men favor with systems favor with structures be at peace with money in the name of jesus christ your daily bread needed for your efficiency per day per week per month let god bring it to your hands Koinonia, hear me by favor even in famine you shall laugh your children will laugh in the name of jesus christ i hope you know that favor is not just limited to things it takes favor to receive encounters with god when gabriel came to mary he said i am here because you are highly favored in other words it's not because your eyes were open through prayer and fasting alone it takes favor when god the bible says blessed is the man who god causes to appear to approach him the vistas of the spirit are not just open because we pursue in terms of prayer and fasting as important as that is there are men who can find favor with god and god can come to you open to you the vistas of your destiny let me pray for your spiritual life you have received things enough let's pray for nobler things in your life in the name that is above all names your prayer life every attack over your prayer life the diligence the discipline to travel until you evolve to become that superior believer receive that grace now receive that mantle now receive that anointing now receive that grace now the grace to wake up and pray and to pray till you establish things in your life number two receive the grace to have dominion over food some of you the unbecoming in your life is gluttony you can resist every other temptation but food everything god gave man he gave man control over the moment things dominate you you are oppressed in the name of jesus i decree and declare the grace to discipline yourself in prayer in fastings for the purpose of your spiritual growth receive it now let me pray for your word study life you know by now 
that the anchor to your stability and growth is your, a thorough methodical understanding of doctrine, even the ways of God. That in all your knowledge, if there are gaps in your spiritual understanding, you cannot become a person of stature. So week in, week out, you are mentored, shown the various facets of the Christian life to the end that you become robust, built as Ephesians says should be. I decree and declare the appetite for the word, the appetite for study, not just study to preach, not just study to go on social media, but study for your knowledge, for your stability and for your understanding. Receive that grace now. For many of you who have underutilized the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the only circumference of our knowing him is just praying in tongues and then we stop there. I pray for you that the deeper dimensions of intimacy that can drive men into that river with the Holy Spirit, where with champions are made out of weakness, where with strength is made, where with destinies are birthed, that men are molded and fashioned to become men of power and grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, I push you deeper into that relationship. For someone here, your only prayer when you came as apostle, please pray that God will give me at least one good friend. I'm tired of liars in my life, tired of psychophants, tired of hypocrites. I don't know who that person is. May my God, the one who connects men, who takes men in solitary places and connects them to families, may he bring strategic people and connect you in the order of David and Jonathan. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is any wrong person, wrong company, wrong group of people misleading you, number one, from your work with God, from your passion for the house of God, misleading you into perdition, I pray for you from this service, obtain grace to run as far as the east is from the west. In the name of Jesus. The level of spiritual power needed in your life for this season. Power to overcome evil. Power to ward off the arsenals of darkness. Power to stand tall and see to it that the purposes of God are birthed in your life. The requisite level of spiritual power. The impartation in the order of Acts chapter 4. Let it be rested upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. For in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. For in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. May you return with your testimonies. Strange testimonies. Even from tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let's all stand please if you can. Everyone please stand. I want to make a call to those who need to make it right with Jesus Christ tonight. There's no point flattering you, playing with words. Now you know how important Jesus is. He's not only the one who calms the storms. He is the Savior, the one crucified, exalted today, King, Lord, Christ, even the judge of all the earth. You are here and you do not have a functional relationship with Jesus. Maybe another Jesus. Maybe you have a relationship with religion. Maybe you have a relationship with a man of God. As important as that is. Jesus is calling you to make it right with him. And then for those of you who need to rededicate your life. You've just been playing games around your spiritual life. And you truly want to mean business with Jesus. I want to count one to five very quickly. You will be our last miracle tonight before we leave wherever you are with boldness and without any sense of shame and fear please make your way to the front God bless you as you come God bless you as you come thank you thank you sir thank you nothing to be ashamed of come to Jesus come come Koinonia this is the greatest miracle you know that celebrate them as they come their coming is the triumph of light over darkness. The victory of Jesus. 
by your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected King is resurrected me in your name I come alive to declare your victory the resurrected King is resurrected me Hallelujah. God bless you. For all those who are connecting from across the globe, please follow with the prayer and all the overflows wherever um, you're located. Just follow me as we pray. Thank you, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, for making this noble decision. Jesus said, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. You are coming before Jesus, the one who was crucified and is today exalted Lord and Christ. May I please request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender to this Jesus and that includes you who is praying in your home that includes all those who are connecting from all the other expressions across the globe the overflows right here please lift your hand in the same attitude of surrender say after me Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I love you with all my heart I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus consciously and truthfully into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God. I have the life of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Please keep your beautiful hands lifted and let me speak over your life, Father. Grace upon these ones to walk and live the victorious Christian life. I commend you to the word of God and to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I declare that you are established in righteousness. You go from glory to glory. You go from grace to grace. May you enjoy this new life. And in the name of Jesus, may you be established in the same. The grace to walk and to live the victorious life. I impart upon you in Jesus' mighty and matchless name amen and amen thank you for this decision Please. thank you for watching like our videos share and subscribe thank you